Welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel and today we are in our Windows 7 tips and tricks and we we're going to show you how to speed up your computer by removing the software that starts up when you boot your Windows 7 machine. First, one of the uh, urban legends that I hear all the time, um, people saying, oh, well, I need to uh, remove uh, Word documents and music and videos that I have on my hard drive to speed up the computer. That doesn't do anything. Okay, that's the first thing you need to know. Even if your hard drive is 60% full with documents, uh, pictures, any type of videos, these are, you know, dormant. These are things that sleep when they don't get used by your computer. So they don't really change the speed in which your machine actually goes. What is the biggest problem in the machines is the software that is installed and the software that we install afterwards as we're using the computer and the updates. And what happens, a lot of these programs actually install themselves in a boot or a startup item on your computer. Why? Because it actually helps the software. In many cases, it's only because it makes the software boot up faster when you click on the icon. And there's part of the software that actually needs to have a startup item because that's the way the computer can or the software can actually work. So there are some things that you'll need to, to let the computer start up, but the majority usually can be removed. So how do you access and remove stuff in Windows 7? You simply go and click your start button. In that little search box just above, you'll type msconfig for Microsoft configuration and you'll see there's MS config that shows up in programs. Click that and click the startup tab. Now very, very, very important. You only click the startup tab and no other tabs in here. Now you see this is a very short list that I have, but there are good chances that your list is quite long, especially if you've been using your computer for a while. My list is short for a simple reason. To make these videos, I've installed a fresh new copy of Windows 7 just for the videos. So that's why there's not a lot of stuff here. So what you want to do is remove the check marks in front of the different software that are listed here. But very important, uh, you know, you could be tempted to disable everything and, uh, you know, reboot your computer. While that might be a drastic and a way to actually do it, I usually recommend that you go one by one. So for example, you'll just remove one check mark, click apply, click OK, restart your computer, see if something's missing, something's broken, or anything is going wrong. And by going one by one, at least when something goes wrong, you know which check mark actually creates the problem. You can, of course, if you want, click disable all, click apply, and OK. And if something goes wrong, then you can go one by one. But you can also look at what it is. Very often, you'll recognize some software. So for example, here, I can tell you that what I see here, this is, uh, f these are files for my graphics card, the graphics adapter in this computer as these files. But be careful because some of the startup items can be your antivirus. For example, if you use, let's say you use uh, Norton, well, you'll have something from Symantec here or something called Norton. Uh, if you use Security Essentials, you'll see that something is there from Microsoft. So that's why you don't want to remove everything, but you'll want to remove as much as you can so that it doesn't affect the uh, computer itself or your security, but at least um, if this list is very long and you delete a lot of those, there's a very good chance that once you've booted your computer, that you'll see that it boots faster and that it actually works faster when you use it. So this is a simple way of 
checking up you know everything that's starting with your computer and um, you know it, it doesn't show but a lot of these software that boot from startup actually take a lot of time and make Windows very very slow at startup it's one of the common problems in Windows 7 is slow boot times and you know this startup tab can often I would say 70% of the time it's gonna really really make a difference in your computer so uh, once again just to tell you where it is you go into your start button you click MS config and here you'll have the Microsoft config uh, tool simply go to startup and slowly remove the check marks from the list now don't be scared if the list is extremely long uh, to give you an idea my main Windows 7 machine that I use all the time probably has uh, close to a hundred entries in this list so it gives you an idea that uh, it can really 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 get very very long if you enjoy our videos want to subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments or questions maybe you have a feature of Windows 7 or any uh, you know computer item uh, smartphone to uh, from um, you know Macs to PCs this channel covers everything uh, please let us know and we'll try to make a video so thanks for watching